grown even more stagnant it feels almost malicious I might be sick wait something's here <gasps> no a monster's taken hold of the crystal Orthros the beast from the scriptures bringer of doom now what it stands between us and the crystal's awakening then I don't suppose we've much choice.
been inside the crystal the details can wait first comes the right of awakening i'll second that i'm in no state to deal with any of that beast's friends right now hurry on yes you need to get ready right i'm ready airy then let's review how the right works one last time i'm to focus my prayers on the crystal yes Right. That will naturally align your breathing with the crystal's rhythm. Your life force will stir it awake. That will return the crystal to its normal state. But you mustn't stop there. Keep praying! If you excite the crystal to just short of the breaking point, then release that energy all at once, its effects will spread far and wide. There are a few important things to remember, though. First, you are not to stop until I say the flow of energy into the crystal could reverse. At its worst, that could be fatal. Second, once I give the signal, you have to stop immediately. Any further, and this time, it'll be the crystal that breaks. I understand. Last, everyone needs to keep their distance and stay absolutely silent. The right places a huge burden on the Vestal, physically and mentally. But even if she seems to be in pain, you can't come near her or the crystal, no matter what! What do you mean a huge burden? Is there any danger to Agnes? There's nothing to worry about. I'll be right here watching to make sure of that. Now, everyone but Anya, step back. All ready to begin? Ready.
Did it work? The Rite of Awakening was a great success! You were amazing, Anyas! I never dreamed it'd go this well! Oh... Good... Now the wind should... return... That was supposed to happen then? My heart nearly stopped! I thought something had gone wrong and the whole thing was exploding! I bet they saw that flash from Anshar. That light. I feel as if I've seen that light before. Your memories return? No, just... I can't see it clearly. But I remember a hand reaching out through the light. A woman's hand. There he goes again. Are you alright, Agnes? Anything we can do? Then the entire brooch will look like that? Once we've finished with all four crystals? That's right! Only three to go! Three more times. Well, for now let's head back to town. The wind should be returning, right?
Hmm. Do the streets seem noisy to anyone else? Ah, oh, over there. It's the Weasel King. Hearken to me, my children. After abandoning our kingdom to its fate, the Vestal then came slinking back to these borders to beg my forgiveness. And forgive her I did, for I saw not to be gained from excoriating a girl for her egregious failures. My clemency was met with willful pride. She promised to return the wind to motion single-handedly. Yet, what has come of it? Nothing will save the southern sky set ablaze with a malefic light. The Vestal failed to restore the wind and brought still greater calamity upon our heads. As proof, look no further than the stagnant air around you. I can but blame my own wishful ignorance for this latest turn of events. I ought never have entrusted this matter to a relic of a bygone era. The Crystal Orthodoxy is a dream of the past, the Vestal obsolete. Her inability to ensure the Crystal's function is manifest. Join me, my people! Let us rely upon the Vestal no longer! It is our own efforts that will see this kingdom saved. The labor service is your sacred duty, your pride as citizens. All who work beyond 20 hours a day will receive a royal commendation. And in the wake of this tribulation, Ansheim will emerge a new land. Our new history begins now! Wait! What? Uh, the Vestal? Worry no longer, people of Anshine! I have just awakened the Crystal of Wind! Lying witch! Then why does the air remain still? It's true. There's no wind. The Grand Mill isn't turning! The King may be right. <gasps> Don't be afraid. The footsteps you've carved will be a guide to these people, Agnes. They just need a light to show the way. A spark of hope. Please, give me the courage. I ask that you listen. The winds that washed over this land without end for so long stopped. A vast darkness split the earth in the kingdom of Kaldisla. An entire village was devoured. The seas fester. Fish wash up upon our shores, twisted and lifeless. Even ships are unsafe from this corrosion. All the world's people, all life, is crying out in pain. Your suffering is mirrored in every corner of existence. I was dispatched by His Majesty to leave these borders and survey the damage firsthand. My conclusion is absolutely certain. The four crystals have been clouded over with a powerful darkness. On my return, I found the Crystal of Wind in the clutches of a terrible monster. Its influence had sealed away the Crystal's light entirely. Ha! <laughs> you reward our patience with fabrications and fantasy. Utterly ridiculous. This is no fantasy. The beast fell before me and my companions. I present this to you as proof! Those chains! The chains that circled the beast Orthros! The Tempest Braid? That can't... It's only a legend! A story from the old crystal of scriptures! But here they are! The Vestals brought us Tempest Braid! Then... Then Orthros was no legend! And the Vestals slain it! Preposterous! The chains are fake! L like your ridiculous story! There's still no wind! 
The wind is coming. Two thousand years the Vestals have prayed. Their lives have been the crystal's nourishment. And now... Now they feed the wind! It's... She's right. The wind... The wind has returned! Uh, the winds are back! The Grand Mill, it's turning! I've reached them. Of course you did. And they love you for it. They found new hope in your words. You were amazing, Agnes. And Vestals are a force for good. That speech struck any doubt from my mind. Naturally. I knew it from the moment I first saw you. They're all calling out to you. Go on and answer them. I don't... You're a savior to the kingdom, Lady Vestal! A savior to all of us! And at such a young age, the Vestals are a blessing upon this world! Forgive us for failing to aid you when the wind stopped. We were lost! Please, continue to guide the wind and this nation's people. Lead and we will follow! I thank you all, but I fear I cannot stay. The shadow of danger has been driven from Anchime, but darkness persists elsewhere in the world. I must join with the other Vestals and see that all mankind is ransomed from this terrible threat. That is my duty as a Vestal of the Crystals. It pains me to leave your side again so soon. I ask your patience. And your forgiveness. <gasps> she grieves not just for Anchime's pain, but that of all the world. We thought only of her own misfortunes, but the Vestal... Lady Vestal! Know that you go with all our prayers. Please help them. Help the others as you've helped us. Be strong, Lady Vestal! <gasps> I thank you. Your faith moves me beyond words. I shall see this task complete and then return to you, I swear. Uh, what perverse farce is this? This cannot be so. I shall not be undone by a, a, a child. I am king, king, and a king does not forget his enemies. Ah! 